Today we are going to show you the best 3D printers you can buy right now. We have analyzed the market and listed these 5 best 3D printers for you. For more amazing tech product reviews and suggestions please subscribe to our channel. We will try our best to present you with the best tech products that you can buy now. Products links in the description box. In this video, we'll be covering 3D printers, including what they are, why you may want to choose them, and some of the best options out there. Number 5. The Creality Ender 3 V3KE is an affordable 3D printer that offers advanced features that are commonly found in more expensive models. One of its notable features is the X-axis linear rail which reduces vibrations, providing greater stability for high-speed prints. It has a maximum speed of 500 mm per second, making it faster than the slightly less expensive Ender 3 V3 SE. Its graphical touchscreen interface is full-color and user-friendly, and it also has Wi-Fi connectivity, which allows remote monitoring and control using smartphones or computers. However, it doesn't include a camera for live feed monitoring. The high-capacity hotend can reach temperatures of up to 300 degrees Celsius and can print a wide range of filament types, including high-temperature materials such as nylon and ABS when used with an enclosure. The PI bed build surface offers strong adhesion and easy print removal. The printer is compatible with most standard slicers and comes with Creality Print, a user-friendly slicer based on Cura. In terms of print quality, the printer performs well in various tests, scoring an overall score of 28 out of 30, showing strong capabilities in most areas. However, it shows varying levels of error in the X and Y dimensions across different target sizes, with an average error of 0.19 mm in X and 0.1 mm in Y. The printer does well in fine flow control, fine negative features, overhangs, and bridging, each scoring a perfect 5. These results suggest that the Ender 3 V3KE can handle intricate details and complex geometries with ease, making it ideal for detailed hobbyist projects and craft applications. The printer also performs well in the XY resonance and Z-axis alignment test, each with a score of 2.5, which affects the surface finish and overall aesthetics of the print. However, its open design limits its material compatibility, particularly for advanced materials that require controlled environments, such as ABS. Number 4. The Cobra 2 Plus printer comes with a heated bed that has a removable textured steel plate attached to it with magnets. After the printing is done, you can easily lift off the plate and flex it to take out the model. The filament, which is not included, is placed on a reel on the left and fed through a run-out sensor and a reverse Bowden tube to the extruder, which feeds it into the hot end. The hot end can heat up to 260 degrees Celsius, which is lower than some rivals that offer up to 300 degrees Celsius, but it should be sufficient to handle PLA, ABS, and PTG materials. The Cobra 2 Plus can also handle flexible TPU filament, but you will need to set much slower print speeds, around 100 mm per second. The printer includes a non-hardened nozzle, so you cannot print with abrasive filaments such as carbon fiber PLA. The bed can go up to 90 degrees Celsius, which is lower than some printers, but it should be enough for most users. To test the printer, I printed various test files using Anycubic Slicer, the company's version of the popular open-source Prusa Slicer. The printer comes with a PLA profile on the USB stick, but it's strange that Anycubic doesn't provide more profiles for other types of filament. There isn't even one for non-high-speed filament. With the pre-sliced Benchy on the USB stick, a 3D Benchy will print in under 20 minutes, while at these settings, it will print in just over 30 minutes. However, with the right combination of filament, settings, and slicer software, the Cobra 2 Plus is capable of producing decent quality prints, as shown by the Benchy that printed in around 30 minutes. Number 3. The open frame design is a common feature of 3D printers, which evolved from open source models to consumer-ready ones. But this design can be inconvenient for use in schools, homes with kids or pets, or anywhere people might reach into the machine. Fumes can also be a concern even when using the latest PLAs. The Anchormake M5C 3D printer offers direct printing via USB Type-C drive, making it even simpler to use. The printer has a one-button design that can be customized through an app to perform various functions. It is beginner-friendly but also compatible with Cura or Prusa Slicer for more experienced users. The Anchormake M5C offers a large workspace of 220 by 220 by 250 mm for printing. Its speed is impressive, with a top speed of 500 mm per second and acceleration of 5000 mm slash S superscript 2. According to Anchor, a standard Benchy print can be completed in just 17 minutes using this printer, which is remarkable. 
The M5C is also versatile in terms of material compatibility from PLA to more exotic options such as PCF. The build plate accommodates a wide range of filament types up to a maximum temperature of 100 degrees Celsius. Connectivity options for the M5C include Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and USB-C. This printer offers speed, versatility, and user-friendliness. The initial layers of the print are precise, resembling a skilled line drawing rather than a mere extrusion. The accuracy of the extrusion and head movement remains consistent throughout the printing process, resulting in outstanding print quality. The prints look aesthetically pleasing with minimal fine filament stringing, smooth surfaces, and good bridging. Though slightly louder than some other models, the noise created by the fans is a minor trade-off for such speed and quality. Number 2. The Elego Neptune 4 Max FDM 3D Printer has a similar layout to most of the FDM 3D printers on the market. The bed moves in the Y direction, the print head moves in the X direction, and twin screw drives lift the print gantry in the Z direction. The belts feature easy twist knob tension adjustments. There are two USB ports on the front, one USB-A and one USB-C. These ports allow for printing via files loaded onto a USB stick. The control screen is also plugged in here, to the right of the USB ports. The left side of the printer has a slide-out drawer for storing tools and spare parts. On the right side of the printer is the attachment point for the Wi-Fi antennae and the LAM port. The printer produces fantastic bottom layers with even plastic distribution and no gaps. Prints adhere well to the bed and I didn't experience any print failures. However, with greater speed on a large machine comes a higher likelihood of various print flaws like ghosting, shadowing, or waves. These flaws occur when the movement of the print bed and or print head causes the whole printer to move a bit and thus wiggle right after a sharp movement. Once I dialed in the settings, I was very happy with the resulting print quality. I printed a Tentacles Xbox stand at 200 mm per second and it came out fantastic. With some light sanding and a coat of spray paint, it's impossible to tell that it's 3D printed. Even raw, the layer lines are very faint and the details are sharp. I also printed out a very large trash can to test the large volume capability of the Elego Neptune 4 Max FDM 3D printer and the whole thing was done in less than 8 hours. This is a significant improvement from my previous large format printer, which took an estimated 30 hours to complete the same print. Number 1 The FlashForge Adventure 5M Pro is a Core XY 3D printer with a modern and sleek design that looks more like an appliance than a traditional 3D printer. It has a high extruder speed of 600 mm per second, but some users may find that the included print profiles and software are not entirely adequate. The printer can receive files through the conventional USB port, Wi-Fi using the Flash Print 5 software, or the Ethernet port located at the back of the machine. The printer is enclosed with no visible cables, wires, or belts, ensuring safe and convenient operation. To replace the filament, users can access the extruder through the top panel and the front door is attached through a pair of side-mounted hinges and closes using integrated magnets. The Adventure 5M Pro has several fans, including part cooling fans attached to the extruder, circulation slash filtration fans at the back, and a powerful chamber fan on the side that blows air over the build area, making it different from other desktop 3D printers. The printer's front panel only has one physical button, the large power button at the top right. All other interactions are handled through the integrated touchscreen, which provides a sleek and user-friendly experience. The printer comes with Flash Print 5, the latest slicer software from FlashForge, which provides a comprehensive set of features that allow users to upload various file types such as .stl, .obj, and .3mf, among others. Additionally, users can rotate, scale, generate supports, and perform cuts to split models into pieces. Flash Print 5 also allows users to send prints via Wi-Fi while the built-in webcam enables them to monitor the progress of a print. The webcam can also be used to take screenshots, which are exported as a 640x480 resolution .jpeg, useful for monitoring the print. All of the best 3D printers are on our list. Please click the thumbs up icon if you found this video to be helpful. Which 3D printers would you choose? Let us know what you think by leaving a remark below. Thank you for your time click the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you found this video to be useful in any way so you won't miss any upcoming updates. All of you who viewed before that I hope to see you in the upcoming video.